Well, the On Your Side forecast with Rachel Garceau. 648, happy Wednesday morning, and here's how we are starting off this Wednesday across the region. It's 57 in Seattle, 58 in Portland. We are warmer than they are, 63 right now in Boise. A beautiful, comfortable start this morning. If you're one of those that heads out early, maybe takes the dogs out early or goes on a morning run, you have a picture perfect morning for it. And I would say if you're an afternoon jogger, maybe go now anyway, because it is going to be way too hot. Unless you're my husband, he can jog in any sort of weather. But for most people, this afternoon will be too hot to be out and about unless you're poolside or uh, under a shade canopy somewhere. We are going to have some scorching heat that will really reach its peak today. And then things change very quickly with the arrival of a cold front and this big potent system that will drop some cool air over the south or over the area and will just kind of stay put with a couple of uh, systems that will move through off and on over the next several days and temperatures will continue to kind of drop until we bottom out on Sunday with high temperatures. Uh, at the temperature we're seeing right now this morning, low 60s for the Boise area. So as we head through today, lots of sunshine, some intense heat. We're challenging the triple digits across the area today. However, by tomorrow morning, we'll already see things changing up. We'll have cloud cover that will move in tomorrow. We have a mostly cloudy day expected Thursday, a good 15 to 17 degree drop in temperatures. As a cold front sweeps through, it'll be over and done with out of the area by early afternoon. And then behind it comes this cool air. It'll be a pretty dry front. We're not expecting any crazy Crazy conditions, probably some wind will likely develop as the front moves through. Some mountain showers possible tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Friday morning, we'll still have the cloud cover hanging around and temperatures will drop again by about 10 degrees. 8 to 10 degrees from Thursday to Friday. So if you have plans to head to the farmer's market on Saturday, here's how our weekend is going to start. Possibility of some storms early Saturday morning. It's very slim chance, but it's out there. We'll start off at just 51 degrees with mostly cloudy skies by mid morning Saturday, just the mid 50s. And then by early afternoon, a little bit of a brisk breeze out of the northwest. 58 degrees we will get to about 70 on Saturday. So well below normal over the weekend. Well above normal this morning or this afternoon. We're talking some of these temperatures are challenging some records and about 20 degrees above our average for June 6. So a crazy hot afternoon. 97 for CUNA and Boise. 98 in Mountain Home this afternoon. Hot in the Boise Mountains. 92 for Idaho City. 95 in Garden Valley. If you're one of those midweek campers, it's going to be very, very warm up there this afternoon. Mid 80s in the Long Valley. Beautiful for Stanley and Sun Valley. 82 expected there with mostly sunny skies. Things get a little less beautiful for campers over the coming weekend. So cloudy tomorrow, high of 79, even cooler Friday and Saturday. We'll see about the low 70s there. Sunday, we have another wave that's going to sweep in, bringing showers and even cooler temperatures, and we have a good chance of mountain storms and rain from Friday pretty much every day through early next week. So be prepared for that if you're headed to the higher terrain.